Gear Geek. ISPO 2013, I'm here with Stian Hagen, who helped design the Swix Sonic R1. Yeah, so this is uh, quite an interesting um, new pole concept, I think. It's uh, full carbon fiber tubes, incredibly light, about 210 grams for the pole. Um, the other things we have here is the locking mechanism, which is a completely new uh, mechanism. It's uh, actually a, an aluminum sleeve. Uh, it makes it incredible easy to lock it, and it's, it can't break. There's nothing they can ice up. The other thing is that it locks top and bottom, so you buy the pole in, in your length, and then it'll adjust 30 centimeters, so you don't have to look down to see if you're in your, your right ski length. That's actually the length it stops at. Uh, the locking mechanism is also positioned so that it also works as your grip on the pole when you're uh, doing switchbacks going up. So you don't need an extra uh, pole grip on the, on the upper tube, which saves you weight. Other thing is the strap we worked on a lot, and I wanted to have a strap that was incredibly easy to adjust uh, from going up when you use a thin glove to skiing down with a thick glove. So you have a system here that is really easy to adjust from thin to thick gloves. Uh, new basket system that you can unscrew. So you can change the basket really easily just by unscrewing this thing. The basket itself is, is really light to have a good swing weight. You know, the more weight you have at the bottom, the worse swing weight is going to be. Uh, also the handle, uh, we worked on the shape on the top of the handle. Uh, so I made this edge here as straight as possible. So you can use it to scrape off snow on your ski, so you don't have to bend over. But you, you pull down, and you can scrape the top of your ski. Uh, when you're walking up, if you spend a lot of money buying lightweight gear, there's no point in carrying a lot of snow and ice uh, on top of your skis. And we also have a hook on the front of the pole, which you can see there, which works with, uh, with tech bindings. So you don't have to bend over to lock the tech bindings. You can take your pole down and flip it up. And uh, I didn't think about that when we made it, but it also works quite good when you're sitting on the chairlift and your buckles on your boots are too tight. You can just put the pole down and unlock your buckles without bending over. The ultimate lazy man's pole. So uh, yeah, 220 grams, it's uh, the lightest adjustable pole on the market. So what are those going to cost? This is going to retail for 179 euros. That's fair. 